I first of all like to give a shout out to Matt for blowing all of my photos of Table Mountain out of the water. I'm climbing Table Mountain every day this year. Today is the 128th day of the year and I have completed 128 hikes. I'm doing this for three organizations which I'm going to share with you how it all came about. But this is all about taking an idea that you have, pursuing it and seeing what you can make out of it. This all started last year in June when, I didn't realize it, but my younger self had uh, decided to train for a retrenchment that I would go through uh, last year. It's not a fun experience, but I knew that something good was going to be coming out of this experience. I just didn't realize how big it was going to be. <sighs> it doesn't just happen overnight, and six years ago is where it all began. I was invited to the Sunflower Funds uh, Black Tie Gala event, and this was the first time I heard the story of a woman who lost her son to leukemia a month before his 18th birthday. She took that pain and she created an organization to save future families from going through that pain. I instantly became a donor, and as an avid cyclist, I saw a guy go past me really quickly, which is really painful to say. But I really wanted the jersey, and that simple decision started me on a journey that has gotten me to where I am. I uh, became actively in, uh, involved in fundraising with him, cycling with the Argus, and uh, I started to learn that it is incredibly easy to give back, but incredibly difficult to get support. And, um, you know, what I learned from the Sunflower Fund is that it's not what happens to us that defines us, but how we choose to move forward. The following year, Nelson Mandela died in December, and I was driving past the airport with a line of shacks on the right-hand side, and I had just had this incredible sadness inside, and I thought, we, we should be doing more. So driving to work the rest of the way, I thought, oh, there's got 5,000 staff members that uh, we work with. What can we do to actively make a difference? I paid 50 Rand a month for parking. If everybody paid 50 Rand, we could build two homes a month at that company with Habitat for Humanity. An organization that was told to me when I went and shared this idea with the people that were at the office. These great people introduced me to a phenomenal woman this year, Miss Sunday, that I had the awesome pleasure of interviewing not once but twice. She is one of four children. They lost uh, their dad to a shack fire a couple of years back. And um, she was actually receiving her home. And to see her passion and dedication and inspiration about furthering her education and using her new home to better herself and her family was an inspiration to me. The next company that I'm supporting is One Heart. They work with under-resourced schools to teach children to read. And I actually met Lisa the day after I had my idea serendipitously. And uh, they do phenomenal work. And so it was a natural fit for me to work with them. This year is not just about handouts. All of these organizations are coming with me. And last year, Lisa joined me and taught me all about Ubuntu and the spirit of what this is about, compassion and uh, humanity. I instantly knew a week after this idea that I could take it globally. I, to date, I've got 13 countries that have donated towards this cause. And the cities that you see up above, uh, Melbourne, Keflavik, Auckland, Stuttgart, San Francisco, and Miami have all not just donated, but have gone above and beyond in terms of sharing the story to get a global awareness. My journey started on the 1st of January with a good friend, Dave, meeting me at 4 a.m. in the morning and um, to set me off on a journey of a million stairs. I had no idea that January would be so many firsts for me. I'd be walking in uh, um, wind of 80 k's per hour. There would be fire. Um, I would also be get a sore throat, which would test my physicality to the max. Luckily, it was only, I still had a resting heart rate of eight, uh, below 80, so I was able to continue. But uh, that was January. I also had my first fire. So kicking into February, the month of love, and it was incredible to see the momentum gaining speed and feeling the love and the Ubuntu that this is all about. I managed to hit my first milestone of 50. I love this picture because it was my first cable car Uber. I was the only one in it. And um, yeah, February was great because it's not also just about raising money, it's about raising awareness and an organization called Nevis. They came with me, and it's all around uh, skin disease that affects one in 500,000 people. 
And a woman by the name of Siglin came and organized 11 people to hike up with that we could share their message. March was very special to me because not only did I go past the number of training hikes that I did in five months, but my sister, who is pictured middle, uh, came all the way down from Johannesburg with her family, and she struggles with her physicality. She has adrenal gland fatigue, she has an uh, underactive thyroid, and she pushed herself to actually make it to the top and made me incredibly proud. My most heartwarming moment this year has been when I visited these amazing children at a Moyo dance company in Heart Bay, the very people that we are here to support. After hearing my story, they went to their show two, months late, uh, two days later and all came with two rand to support me. Well, we don't always know what challenges await us. And on April Fool's Day, I woke up having had a drunk driver drive into my car. I thought it was an April Fool's joke uh, that was gone mad, but unfortunately it was true. And thankfully I live very close to the mountain and again it gave me that appreciation for that. But April saw me hit my 100 mark, triple figures. I, after the end of April, I'm now a third of the way through. And I also had my parents who drove all the way down from Johannesburg to come and do the 101st hike with me. My mom also struggling. And that all made me incredibly proud. I would like to invite all of you right now to please close your eyes. I want you to imagine being able to build a home for a family in a week. I want you to imagine teaching a child to read in a week. I'd like you to imagine saving someone's life this week. Now imagine that somebody is you. Thanks very much.